What's up everyone, it's Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder. In this video we're going to be looking at how to get Windows Phone style notifications for your Galaxy S4. So maybe if you came from a Windows Phone before and you missed those colorful notifications or you just like the color scheme that you see on Windows Phones and Surface Tablets then you can check out this app called Metro Notifications. It's created by Silverfinger Software available on the Play Store. When you first open up Metro Notifications, depending on which Android version you're running, if you have Android 4.3 or above, it'll ask you to give it notification access. If you're running a previous version of Android, it'll ask you to set it up as an accessibility service. So once you're done setting that up, you can head back to the app. The main page is just going to be a list of your apps and you can choose whether or not you want notifications to pop up by checking the box. And you can hit the menu button and let's check out some settings. So under notifications, you can change the way that the notification will look. You'll notice there are a lot of grayed out settings. These are unlocked if you upgrade to the pro version. But with the free version, you do have a decent amount of customization options. You can switch up the time format uh, between 12 hour and 24 hour or just remove it altogether. With position, you can choose where the notification will pop up. You can have it at the top, bottom, center, or just below the status bar. Dismiss from status bar, if you dismiss the notification banner, you can also set it to actually dismiss it from your notification tray. Timeout is how long the notification stays on screen. If you want to have it turn the screen on when you get a notification so you can see what it is, you can check uh, the box for wake on notification. So those are a few of the main settings to tweak. So once you're done playing around with that, you can go to test banner and it'll give you a sample notification banner. This is what your notification will look like. You have the apps icon up here on the left. If you have the pro version and the notification is a text message from a contact that you have a photo for, then that photo will show up so you can tell at a quick glance who's texting you. The sender's name will be up here as well and uh, it'll show the first line or so of the text message. And you have a timestamp in the upper right corner. You can tap on the banner to launch the app or you can swipe either direction to dismiss it. So back to the settings menu. Uh, under sound you can choose whether or not a ringtone will play upon receiving a notification. You can also turn on vibration for it. And under advanced are some more customization options, most of which are available in the pro version. If you do wish to upgrade to the pro version, you can do so easily by going to the main page, hit your menu button, and upgrade at the bottom. You unlock all of those features that were grayed out before. My favorite one is being able to change the color of the notification banner. You can choose between different preset ones or make your own with the color picker. You can assign different colors to different apps like red for Gmail, blue for Twitter, or whatever other colors you want. There are tons of customization options with the pro version so you should definitely consider it. Once again the app is called Metro Notifications by Silverfinger Software. That's all for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.